Okay. He, che he decides to put on the heat, so we're going to do the same thing. And, uh, yeah, he has to play something on that. Yeah, mm-hmm. I don't know about that, those arrows. Yeah, he says oops. He knows. What's up, everyone? It's Turkey here, and today we're going to be pushing top ladder with my favorite deck of all time, Log Bait. And at the time of recording the video, we are approximately 272nd in all of North America. So that's the approximate level of competition for those of you wondering. And if you look at the global leaderboards, Riley is number four right now in the entire world uh, with a similar variant of this deck. They're just running Electro Spirit instead of the Ice Spirit. Saying that this deck is strong is an absolute understatement. It has two of the strongest card evolutions in the entire game, the Evo Skeletons and the Evo Knight. You actually have a pretty quick cycle as well compared to traditional log bait, so you can actually outcycle a lot of your opponent's barrel counters fairly easily. You definitely want to abuse both of your card evolutions on offense and defense to get massive positive elixir trades. So I love this deck. If you've never played log bait, I hope I inspire you to give it a try. So that's enough yapping for me. I want to get into some games, but before I do that, I just want to ask anyone watching to please like the video and consider subscribing to my channel. It is free for you, but it helps me a ton. So I appreciate that. And and let's get into a game. All right, into our match here against Dylan Shot. Has some nice accolades on his banner, so probably a pretty good player. I'm gonna have to cycle to my skeletons. I went like that because I didn't have anything to play on the miner. I don't know if you noticed. I'm gonna go night high. I, if you play that one tower lower, you can do something tricky to like activate the king tower. And uh, hopefully he doesn't go for a NATO here. Yeah, he knows that was a mistake. Goblin barrel in the safe spot. They probably have a. Uh, a tornado in this deck. Fortunately, he didn't have it in hand. Okay, so it's gonna be minor wall breakers, minor poison. Pretty popular deck at top ladder, um, because it's really good, to be completely honest. I'm not gonna say, like, it's broken or anything like that, but it's very strong. Let's go for the NATO. I'm gonna go like that, and if they go for a magic archer, we do have our Tesla. Okay, he lets it go. I'm gonna wait. Yeah, okay. He thought I was going to go in for the barrel. Wow, that's going to be a lot of damage, unfortunately. I'm going to have to eat that. And we're going to go like this. And we want to force out a response onto those Evo Skeletons. Okay. So far, so good. And, uh, yep. My boy's in trouble. Yeah, it give, gives me the eye roll. I was going to say, he was really aggressive with that magic archer at first. Like, really, really aggressive. I was like, I don't know if he can get away with that. So, that's what I'm talking about. With the double evolutions, you can just punish so effectively. So, that's a good game. We'll see you in the next one. And, um... Evo Skeletons have been treating me well in this deck, I have to say. Okay, he goes in with the Goblin Joe. There's a ton of Goblin Joe in this meta. It is actually just, like, such a good deck. It's so hard to defend the drills properly, too. Like, you can see, even with my knight placed as close as it could be, uh, it doesn't prevent any all of the damage, unfortunately for us. This deck oftentimes runs bomber as well. Now I need a log here. Oops. And they can be really, really aggressive um, and usually get away with it because they have a really, really, like, broken defense. So yeah, I expect to see a lot of this deck um, this season. We're going to go in like this. They probably have a log... And a delivery and a poison. Um, interesting. We do get some damage there. So I'll take that. They definitely have the evolution berry as well. So we need to keep an eye out for that. I'm going to Tesla here. And then skeleton is really low. And then commit a log as well. So you can see we spent a lot on that. And they get no damage. But we absolutely overspent. Unfortunately. So it is what it is. I'm going to get ready with the princess here, just in case they go in for wall breakers behind this. I'm fine if he poisons on this lane. They already got more damage in the opposite lane, so that's probably not what they want to do. Beautiful. The princess locks onto the little prince. That's exactly what we wanted. Okay. I would like for my princess to live, and she will. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go like this and maybe force out a delivery. Okay, now we're going to go in with Evo Skeletons. And see if we can get something nice here. <laughs> okay, I guess not. I guess it, his Evo Skeletons were uh, better than our Evo Skeletons. But it forced out a Panic Bomb Tower, so that was good. So actually, it looks like his evolutions are Evo Skeletons and Evo Berry, most likely. But I'm not 100% sure. 
I don't think he has delivery in hand. I'm going to go for a knight here. And once those pop, I'm going to go for skellies. And we do eat drill damage, unfortunately. And cycles really quick as well, so he's already going to be back uh, to a defense here. So we're going to go for our knight. We're going to go like this, like this. And we got a good amount of damage there. We defended very well. Oh, that berry, that berry, that berry. Oh, phew. If we didn't have Tesla in hand there, we were in trouble. Even so, it was still not great. Pops the ability, but our princess, princess is going to live. That's super awesome for us. Goes for a poison there. And a delivery. I'm going to go like this. He doesn't have the best hand to defend this. Exactly. Exactly, exactly, exactly. You don't want to go same lane as Drill either. Uh, and we've kind of been able to avoid that. So that's been really awesome. I'm going to be aggressive here and defend this with Evo Skeletons. And I'm going to poison just to be safe. He has Evo Skeletons as well. And he, we force out the Evo Berry on defense, which is amazing. And he has to spend something else on the Princess. So I'm actually going to go in for a Rocket here. I can be really aggressive because we forced out a lot of Elixir on defense. I'm actually going to test it like this. Exactly. And that Ice Spirit is going to defend very, very well. That is two Rockets for me. But he can put he can apply a lot of pressure in this time. So I need to be very careful. Okay, he just wasted that bomb tower. I don't agree with that play at all. Um, so we're gonna go like this. Ice spirit. And then log just to be safe. And then one more rocket wins this game. We have a Tesla up, so he can't go in. Uh, I'm gonna cycle a goblin barrel. And then one more rocket is gonna take this game. And he knows it. He calls the good game. So we'll give him the good game. And that's not an easy matchup. We made it look good. I think we applied pressure at the perfect time. I'm happy with that. Good game. We'll see you in the next one. Okay, into our next match here against Fernando. And I'm curious to know what all of you think or how you're all feeling about the new card evolutions. I know I'm like, I'm just getting a little annoyed with the Evo Bomber, just like how quick of a cycle it is, every other one being Evo, and the range is absolutely crazy. But honestly, I respect it. It's not the most broken card evolution that exists in the game. So it's all good. Um, I think if they just made it like a one card cycle, I would have no, or two card cycle, I would have no complaints. Um, I want him to have to spend on that, so I'm going to go in, and he is going to ignore everything, which is absolutely crazy, but not unexpected of an Elixir Golem player. And he's going to sack his whole tower for this push, so we're going to live or die on this push right here. We're going to have a really nice rocket, honestly. And I missed two of the Barbarians. Classic, classic Durky right there. And we're going to be fighting for our life right now. Wow. We missed two of the Barbarians with the rocket. Um, but we lived. But we lived. So, yeah. You can be this, this high up on ladder and there's still going to be E-Golem players, man. E-Golem player is going to E-Golem. That's all I'm going to say. I'm going to let this go. Um, I already, if, I lose my, if I lose one tower, I'm going to lose the game anyway, so... Alright, Rocket does do 541, so I am going to log here, cycle my log to put it into a Rocket range um, for next time. And then I don't really have a, a play, I'm just going to chill. Okay, they do that, I'm going to pre-cycle my Tesla. I can get back to another one if they do go in with the Elixir Golem. I'm going to play my Princess on the left side to make sure to not give them arrows value. Like so. And then we're going to pull all of these up with an Ice Spirit. And then, like I said, we have another Tesla in cycle here. He, he almost lets that go. He does, he like half defends it, which I think was a mistake. I think he should have just let it go. We, he doesn't have rage in hand either, so we can maybe get away with some early Evo skeletons. Yeah, I'm going to try and do that, actually. We'll see. He does, it forces out the arrows as well, so that's awesome. That E-Drag is actually giving me a problem, but at this point, we now have two Princesses down and two Teslas. We're going to go like this. Get another Tesla down as well. He goes for the Rage. And my boy is kind of just spamming the bridge at this point in time. I mean, I respect it, but uh, I don't think they're going to they're gonna be able to break through. I like this. Tesla. He was actually really close. Actually, can he? how much do arrows do? Can he spell me out? We're going to pressure just in case. Yeah. Now he can't. 
he would lose the game if he goes for the rage. So good game. Definitely a good matchup. Kind of scary. Like you could totally lose it uh, at any moment if you make a mistake. But we'll take the dub and move on to the next one. Into our next match here. We have a little ice spirit in hand. We can always open up with that. And I will. No surprise at all to see the ev the, the evolved berry in someone's deck. All too common. I was just talking about it. Wow. Okay. Well, that works. <laughs> I almost missed the... I still kind of missed the rocket. But I almost missed the rocket entirely. And, uh, okay. Balloons. We need to watch out for the evil berry. Um... It can actually do so much damage, especially with my knight. I need to make sure I don't cycle my knight uh, aimlessly. Lest I risk giving the, the evolved bomber way too much value. And they go in with... Okay. I'm... Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to let this go. Depending on what he played, I was thinking of going in for the... Uh, the berry. Or the... What's it called? The skeleton barrel. And this, I think, keeps my princess alive. I'm not 100% sure it does. And that, that was worth it. Because now he has to spend on the princess. I think. Yeah, beautiful. Okay, we have a uh, rocket as well for balloons. If he goes in for the balloon. And we haven't played Lava Hound in this video yet, so... Interesting. I'm going to princess at the bridge pretty aggressively here. Um, he'll probably minions on it. Yeah, exactly. So he spent nine elixir, and I also spent nine, so that was an even trade. Or oh, he spent eight, huh? Because minions are three. But still, we got a splash on the tower. I'm nervous about the evolved bomber. This is probably one of the best lava hounds in the lava hound decks in the game. Maybe we can force out the evolved bomber right here. Yeah, he's probably, probably the only thing he can afford, and it full counters barrel. Oh, he has a snowball. Huh? Okay, I wasn't really ready for that. We're going to Knight in the back um, because we know that they have the Inferno Dragon. And yeah, there he goes. I'm tempted to rocket it, but I don't think it's a good play. We're going to go like this instead and just let it go. And good timing by us there. Um, really, really good timing. We're just going to go. We're going to chill here. Let that Inferno Dragon do its thing. I don't think it'll get that much. Uh, it's kind of a lot. <laughs> I didn't think it was going to get that much damage, bro. All good. All good, I guess. And now I'm going to kind of be aggressive here. Because of his cycle. Because of his cycle. Hmm... Yeah, that didn't really work out the way that I wanted it to work out. He's just going to drop a Skarmie there. Snowball. Dude, he has such cheap counters. It's interesting. Please live. Okay, that's also fine. It's not great, but it's fine. He's playing really well. Like, this dude's a good player. We kind of both have really good answers. Like, neither of us can break through, like, super easily. Oh, that was bad. Ice Spirit. Yeah, that was bad. Ooh. I'm gonna go like this. I know it looks, like, super aggressive. And it is super aggressive. We're gonna maybe get a Skarmie here. With this log. Oh, we do. Huge prediction. Absolutely huge prediction, by the way. And he still defends, dude. That's crazy. Wow. Nice prediction times two. He's probably going to go in with the... Yep. 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 Exactly. And then he's going to have to play minions. And then we're going to go in the opposite lane. And maybe he has to scar me here. Now he goes for the arrows. That's fine with me, too. It's two rockets. I'm tempted to just do it because... I'm not sure. I don't want him to be able to do, like, a crazy play. Yeah, I'm going to go for it. Rocket Log takes the game. We're going to give him the well played. He actually played really, really well. I, I feel like that matchup is even. I don't know, 100%. We both had really good answers for each other, so... Good game. Hopefully you learned something from that. <laughs> we'll go ahead and see you in the next one. Our next game here. Score P with the top 300 tournament finish, so... Impressive accolades. 
We ain't scared though. We're gonna go ahead and split our skeletons in the back and try and figure out what this dude is cooking. Don't see a lot of Golden Knight. I'm gonna princess in the opposite lane because I don't really have anything to cycle into the Golden Knight. He's just not playing anything. That's crazy to me. Okay. Okay. Really good, uh, really good timing on that Ice Spirit. Wow, that's crazy. Skeletons here. Really good Golden Knight by my boy. And that Tesla got so much value. <laughs> I need to like go back and clip how much value that Tesla got. That was absolutely crazy. So he's got a mirror. He's got a Golden Knight mirror. It could be like that really old Golden Knight mirror E giant deck. One thing's for sure. Probably has a NATO in here. Uh, I'm going to Goblin Barrel in the safe spot. Find out if they have a Bar Barrel or a NATO or something like that. And he eats. Interesting deck, dude. Just the way that he's playing, the way he's sacking damage. Like, it's just weird. And this is an amazing rocket. Like, an incredible. And it's, look at that. We hit a 4 Elixir Mortar, a 5 Elixir Cannon Cart, and a 3 Elixir uh, Firecracker. We're going to Tesla here. 4 for 4 trade. Um, we just need to watch out for the Battle Ram, which is probably coming. But we have Log, we have Ice Spirit, we have Skeletons. And uh, this dude is just running a cheesy deck. I feel like when he plays a deck like this, you're relying on Surprise Factor because your deck's not as good as like a meta deck so fortunately we haven't been too caught off yet by any of the quote-unquote surprise factors and evo knight here gonna do an amazing job defending all of this yep pretty much giving them zero value at the firecracker i will say that was a really really good golden knight to block yep okay we're alive, though. We're alive. Barely, but we're alive. Probably going to get a Mortar connection here, and I'm not going to be able to do too much about it. I've got to let it go. And then we're going to go like this. Nice. And he's evened up the game a little bit, uh, but we will have Rocket in cycle for their next Mortar. Beautiful. That's exactly what we needed. Yep. Exactly. We're going to Knight really high here. And uh, just chill. Just chill. Panicking against this type of deck is what, what causes you to lose. Uh, so we're going to relax here. Cycle like a little bit of uh, pressure. Okay, we're, gonna, we're not going to rocket that. I really want to rocket that, which tells me that it, it is a bad play. Because I wanted to rocket it. My instincts are probably right in that situation and that that would be a bad call. Okay, burns those arrows, and we need to most likely rocket whatever they play next. I'm gonna go like this. And he's kind of crazy for that. We have Evo Skeletons in hand. Yep, yep. And uh, I'm telling you, man, this game is on a tightrope. Like, I could lose this game at any second. Um, but we're going to take home the game. We're going to give him the good game. Props to that guy for running a really unique deck. But also props to us for keeping our cool and not choking. So that's a good match. We'll catch you in the next one. Into our next match here. Into our next match. And uh, that last game got me feeling some type of way for sure. We're going to go like this. And then our Ice Spirit is going to protect our princess. Should force out like a log. Or Mighty Miner, which is also fine. Split skeletons here, and then I'm going to pressure wall defending in case they go in for a hog. Or a firecracker. And we're going to take the king tower activation to the bank. Get a well-timed log here. And we're okay. We're okay. We're not great, but we're okay. Knight did enough damage to that, and dude, that firecracker is just infinite value for this man right now. All right, another Hog Earthquake deck. It's all over top ladder. I mean, I don't, I don't know what to, to say anymore. Except it's a really good deck. Mm -mm. Can we win it this time? I've played it twice today uh, while recording. I lost both times, so you probably won't get to see those. But uh, maybe, maybe this one will be different. Maybe this one will be different. I don't know. Go like this, and then Ice Spirit as well. And my princess is going to live that, so I'm fine. Maybe we can catch a firecracker here. We do. And that's absolutely huge, chat. 
Now he has an awkward time defending this. Yeah, it goes for the late log. Yeah, he has to know that he can't do that. <laughs> okay, we're back in it, chat. We're back in it. He has to firecracker on that when he gets enough elixir. Okay, now that's that's fine too. I'm gonna go like this. In case he pops the ability, it won't matter. He does pop the ability. Now he needs to spend something else on that. Perfect. Evil firecracker is out of hand. We're gonna get ready with our Tesla here. Oh, and that was a beautiful time to go in for a barrel because it looks like we actually got some damage. So that's awesome for us. Uh, nice. Forces out the bomb tower. And I'm okay, chat. This is looking like it's winnable. Not saying that, like I'm I'm having a, a great lead, but it's winnable. That's all, that's all that I'm going to say right now is that it's winnable. Okay. Not my best, earth, not my best Tesla placement, unfortunately. I refuse to let that get a hit. We're gonna go like this in case he goes for a firecracker. Okay, firecracker on that lane is actually so fine with me. I really don't care. What I do care about is the the, the length that this mighty miner has been alive. We're gonna go like this here because, yep, I think he was gonna go in for the hog, and we were absolutely right. Mm, come on, come on. No, I wanted it to sneak onto the tower. It's not going to. That knight will. Nope. Zero hits. Oh man, this is neck and neck, man. Well played to my opponent either way, you know what I mean? Gotta give credit where credit's due. The Tesla's targeting the wrong freaking thing. Okay, we, we live, we live, but they are getting an Earthquake Chip, and we are not, chat. And that's unfortunate. Firecracker's gonna maybe get wiped. Nah, he protects it wisely. I mean, it's definitely the right thing to do. Oh, bad log, bad log, bad log, bad log. Dude, get this firecracker away from me, please, dude. I'm gonna go in on this line lane instead. Hmm, kind of yields the same results of not much. I think we're gonna have to go in for a rocket soon on the other lane. Possibly. Once that firecracker gets away. I mean, we were defending immaculately, but... You can only do so much, you know what I mean? He's getting all of this chip onto our tower with these earthquakes. And what is a lad to do but just lose? We're gonna go like this. He's gonna definitely go for a firecracker. Yeah, exactly. So that one coming. Mm, not gonna get anything from that, are we? That's so unfortunate. Kind of burns those Evo Skeletons, actually. Maybe he's panicking? Should have Log in hand here. We have a Princess down. Kind of controlling the tempo. He goes for an Earthquake, and we're going to be able to go for a Rocket because he doesn't have an Earthquake in Cycle. Wow, his Cycle is so fast with the Mighty Miner. We need to Cycle back. We can get to a Rocket in time. No, we're not. Oh, good game. Well played. Well played. Not our best matchup, but I'm happy with how we played. So I'm going to leave that in there. That's a good game. We'll see you in the next one. Okay, into our most likely final match of the video here against Zoom. We'll go ahead and give him the good luck. Go ahead and split these Evo Skeletons here. And they open up with the Inferno Dragon. I'm going to chill. I'm going to play Princess in the back. Uh, most likely, like, a Balloon deck. Uh, I feel like Balloon Freeze is what I see oftentimes run with this. So we're going to pressure here. Mega Knight, or um, Inferno Dragon is one of the best responses to the Knight. So I'm going to pressure even more now. Beautifully timed log by us to uh, take care of that Tombstone. And that gets us an extra Knight shot. My opponent rocking with the Berry. And uh, good arrows by them. I suppose. That forces out some more elixir from me, unfortunately. But no arrows in hand. I don't know how he defends this. Maybe an evolved bomber. Uh, no, he goes for the zap. Okay. So zap arrows are the spells 
um, as well as the eye drag, the berry. Okay. Okay, noted. Noted, noted, noted. Uh, this is why I run Tesla instead of like a cannon or a bomb tower is because if you go against Lava Hound or Graveyard, you want those on your side. And we have Revo Skeletons in hand. He might Lava Hound into this. I feel like a lot of times, well, yeah, I was going to say when I go against Lava players, they do something like that. He actually Lava's opposite lane. Okay, we're going to go like this. Because if he does... Yeah, now he's going to drop the uh, Inferno Dragon late, maybe. Oh, nope. We're going to go in here. Evo Knight's tanking just a little bit here. Nice. We force out the Evo Berry in the opposite lane. Crazy that that full counters the barrel, but it is what it is, you know? Okay. He, he, he decides to put on the heat, so we're going to do the same thing. And, uh, yeah, he has to play something on that. Yeah, mm-hmm. I don't know about the, those arrows. Yeah, he says oops. He knows. Those arrows were a little too aggressive, I feel like. In my opinion, but... Yeah. That's really, really huge for us. I'm going to go like this onto the berry. Then skeletons here. And that puts it into rocket range. So at this point, uh, it's pretty much GG's. Unless something absolutely crazy happens. Like a balloon connection, maybe. But I don't foresee that happening. Or a, ba a berry connection would absolutely take me out. So we don't... No berry connections here. That's all that I got to hope for. <laughs> so we're going to just like Tesla. Make sure that berry doesn't go near our tower. And uh, give a good game. Well played. A good matchup for us. Uh, we'll go ahead and see you in the next one. That's going to do it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. We had some really cool games in today's video. Here's the deck one more time in case you want to take a screenshot and give it a try. It's so much fun. It's so strong in the current meta. I know you'll have a blast. So thank you again for watching and we'll see you in another video real soon.